What is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco Toys 112 Collective Catwoman. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic style box when it comes to Mesco's 112 line. So on the front of the slipcover here it does say Catwoman on the top. Then on the center also says Catwoman. On the bottom says 112 Collective Post Plate Display and DC. And then on the bottom of the actual box we do get the warning blub to bust if nobody cares about. Then here is the top of the box. And then here is the one side of the slipcover with a cool Catwoman logo there. Same thing on the other side. And then the back of the box to show a bunch of cool promo images on the bottom. And then up on the top it shows the figure with all of the accessories included. Then once you remove the slipcover here, you do get a ginormous window right there displaying the figure and the accessories. Then the sides of the box just say 112 Collective. Then the back does have a very large Mesco Toys logo. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure. I'm going to take a closer look at this Catwoman figure that seems to be breaking on a lot of collectors. And I hope that doesn't happen to me. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look. And once again, Mesco did a phenomenal job with a recent release. This Catwoman just has a very Catwoman-y type look and I really dig the way it turned out. The face sculpts look fantastic on this figure here. It does have a very Catwoman type look and the paint just looks beautiful on all three faces, especially around the eyes. We get some clean paint around the, uh, the lipstick, the eyebrows where the skin tone meets the black for the mask and it looks like they added like a subtle pinkish to add like blush on her cheeks which look really good too and you can see the stitching on her mask like the mask is sculpted on the face too which is definitely cool but you can see the stitching running along the front of the mask right there which looks dope we get a seam going across the top of the head the uh, the cat ears look good you can see her actual ears sculpted underneath the mask you do see the uh, seam once again on the back of the head with some sculpted wrinkles as well which look really cool she also has her cat collar on also, and the cloth clothing is a stretchy type material, and it looks really good on this Catwoman. We do get uh, like so, like a few painted lines here and there throughout the suit. Like you can see two lines running down the thighs, going up the front of the torso, then around the collarbone and her uh, shoulders right there. And then we do have a zipper painted on there, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks nice. You can see the stitching. It's going under her, ar her arm, and then down the side and to her back. Down her Catwoman butt crack and some people might not like the way the, the stitching looks on the back but what can you do man and my hand is falling off because it did break on me and the arms look pretty good the, the cloth clothing really doesn't hinder her articulation at all which is definitely good then we do have uh, her belt here with a little pouch on it and the belt looks looks really nice you can see the stitching on each side right there we get a loop right on the front connecting all these straps there very cool looking uh, belt here with the pouch and then we have a buckle on, on the back and the front right there and then the pouch here what's really cool about this you can actually hinge the bottom and the top and you can see her thief tools right there and you get some very nice sculpt and paint detail and they're just a very cool little added feature that Mesco did put on this Catwoman they did sculpt the stitching on it as well and it is a separate piece as you can see there and then we do get uh, the painted lines continuing on the thigh right there going down the back of the leg and then uh, one issue with this Catwoman though before we wrap this detail part of the review up I did have a break on my figure which was at the wrist joint I, I was taking pictures and posing her around and swiveling it and it just popped it not popped off it broke right off hopefully Mezco will send me a replacement though that's really disappointing and then that's that's the biggest issue with this Catwoman she is extremely extremely fragile people are getting this figure with either the knees broken or, or an elbow joint broken and people are trying to articulate the figure at the elbow joints and the knees this is where they're breaking the most at the knees and the elbows and and the joints are breaking on them it's a very fragile figure and it seems like Mesco is still struggling a little bit when it comes to female figures but out of all the female figures that they made from the looks of it this Catwoman by far I think is the best so so it looks like they are getting better and better but this figure is just very fragile and it is it's really scary articulating some of the joints on this figure you feel like something's going to break and it's just it's not good at all but continuing on the boots definitely one of the coolest things about the figure here these just turned out really really nice man see the laces sculpted on there we get a bunch of straps with buckles sculpted and painted on there you can see the stitching on all the straps Get some sculpted wrinkles 
on the top of the uh, foot right there, which looked pretty cool, and you can see some more stitching on the side of the foot and the bottom. We do get some sculpted treads, but overall, I think Mezco once again knocked it out of the park when it comes to a detail on another one of their one. 12 figures, and I can't be any more happy with how the paint, sculpt, and cloth clothing turned out. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a pretty good amount of stuff included with this Selena Kyle. So we do get a Mezco bag, which we get with all their figures in case you like to store the accessories and the bags there. So we do get that, and then we do get the Mezco stand. So we do have the base that just says Catwoman in white, and then we do have the peg in case you want to peg the figure on there, and then we do have the arm and the clamp to create the stand. You gotta unpeg the peg from the bottom and then you just peg the stand in and it does have the basic Mesco stand articulation. So we do get that, then we do get three interchangeable heads. And starting on the left, we do get the smirking, smiling face while she's looking off to the left and that is the head that does come on the figure out of the packaging. Then in the middle, we do get the angry teeth gritted face. You can see a little bit of her hair coming out of her mask from her forehead right there, which looks pretty cool. And then finally, we do get the un masthead and the hair looks beautiful on that figure all the face sculpts really do look beautiful excellent paintwork throughout all of them and the sculpt detail is just exquisite on all three alternate heads and it's very simple to swap them out i'm going to show you how to real quickly now and swapping the heads is very basic for mezco it's just on a ball peg so when you want to take it off just pull up to get it off and then just Push it to get it back on as simple as that. So we do get those three alternate heads or faces. And then we also get her goggles, backpack, and her whip. And the backpack here looks pretty cool. has some nice sculpt to it. It's mostly black. And we do get like a grayish type line going down the center of it. And the straps are a soft rubbery type plastic. It's very easy to get it on the figure. You can see the stitching sculpted on there and everything. Very nice tiny sculpt detail. And I'll show you how to put that on. In a second so we do get that and we do get her goggles and we do get a green translucent plastic for the lens there and the silver turned out pretty good i like how it's pointing at the top it's very catwoman like and it is a very soft rubbery type plastic and i'll show you how to put this on the figure in a second also and then finally we do get her whip which is just a soft rubbery type plastic i really thought it would have been cool if they included this whip and then included a whip that was bendy wire i think that would have been dope just to give you more like display options you know there's the one end of it and then the handle is also a soft rubbery type plastic so we do get that and i'm going to show you how to put on the backpack and the goggles right now and the way you get the goggles and the backpack on is really simple what i do with the goggles i put the back part on first and then i slide the goggles over the head. I mean, you could do it the other way too. Put it over her eyes first and then slide the strap down the back of her head. And then there you go. As simple as that to get the goggles on. And I really dig the way this figure looks once you have the goggles on the face. So that's how you get the goggles on. Now for the backpack, just pull her arms backwards. Slide in one arm and then slide in the other. And then just slide the straps up the arm. And then there you go. You have her with her backpack on as I said very simple to do both of those so we do get that stuff and then we finally get six alternate hands and starting on the right here we do get a pair of fists of course which do come on the figure out of the packaging and you do have to use a bit of force to get the hands on the wrist joints it's also a bit scary swapping the hands because of how thin the wrist pegs are so just be cautious when you swap them out I mean they are a soft rubbery type plastic but just be careful Anyway, so we do get a pair of fists, and we do get two different types of gripping hands here. So we get a right regular gripping hand, and then we do get a left gripping hand, which is also pointing with her index finger, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Then we do get two open type hands. So the right hand is more of like a cat scratch type hand, and then the left hand is more of like a open resting type hand. But her claws look pretty cool on all her hands as well. And we do get some very nice sculpt and paint throughout all six hands. I really like that pattern on the palm too i think that looks really cool but anyway that is all the awesome accessories included with this catwoman let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of selena kyle to the very top of her head it looks like she's around six inches tall and then here she is compared to the sh figure arts the dark knight batman the dark knight rises catwoman the suicide squad harley quinn and the dc collectibles icons harley quinn and then here she is compared to the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Deadshot, the Justice League Wonder Woman, the Mesco 112 DX Joker, and the Revil Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Batman. 
and I think this Catwoman scales really well with the Rebel Tech Batman. And then here she is compared to the Storm Collectible Sub-Zero, the SH Figuarts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Tactical Suit Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And this Catwoman does scale pretty good with this Mefex Batman. And then here she is compared to the SH Figuarts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and we get some pretty good movement with this Catwoman. Does leave a bit to be desired, like how most Mesco's articulation is with their 112 figures. We only get one joint at the neck, which is at the upper neck, but we still do get some nice movement out of it. So you can get Catwoman to look up a pretty good amount, and then she does look down very well also. Then we do get really nice pivot at the neck there, and then of course it does swivel now for the torso here we do get a point of articulation under her catwoman boobs right there and she does crunch forward pretty well with that joint and then she also goes back extremely well with that joint and then we do get really nice pivot at the torso and it really does not swivel at all so very good pivot and forward and back movement now for the waist here it does go forward and back a really good amount so combining both joints you can get her to crunch forward very well and then going back with both joints she also goes back really well very minimal pivot at the waist pretty much non-existent but we do get a little bit of swivel really not the best swivel at all with the torso and the waist that's a bit odd but you do get very good pivot and forward and back movement combining both joints now for the arms here we don't have any type of shoulder joint or butterfly joint so the arms do go out to the sides here a lot more than 90 degrees so that is definitely awesome they do go up and down no bicep swivel so you will have to use it at the shoulder there we do have single jointed elbows that barely bend in 90 degrees and i feel like this is where some people might be breaking the catwoman figure i, I think they they believe there's more movement out of knees and elbows but they really can't barely get to 90 degrees so do not try to force your elbow or knee joints on your Catwoman any more than 90 degrees because they will definitely break on you. Uh, we do get swivel though at the elbow which is definitely good and then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth. Be careful with your wrist joints because as you know mine did break on mine so be very careful articulating this figure. That's the main issue about this Catwoman as I mentioned. Articulating some of her joints is very scary and she can break very easily because she is a fragile figure, so just be cautious when articulating this. As I showed before, the pouch here is on a hinge, so you can hinge the bottom and the top up and down to open it. And then for the legs here, Catwoman kicks forward 90 degrees, which is good. Doesn't really go to the back at all. Then let's see if she can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. And she can't, but the legs do go out to the sides pretty damn good a lot more than 45 degrees then we do get the upper thigh swivel we do have single jointed knees that bend back 90 degrees and they do not swivel at the knee and don't try to force them any further than 90 degrees so you don't break your figure the boot cut really doesn't swivel too much the ankles you do get swivel they really don't hinge up too much they do hinge down all right and then we get some horrible Ankle pivot. I mean, that's just really bad ankle pivot, man. Mesco really needs to work on their ankle joints because they, they just aren't good at all, man. But overall, this Catwoman does have some pretty good articulation. Some points are really good, why other points aren't as good. But you're going to be able to get her in some decent Catwoman-like poses. I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the Mesco 112 Collective Catwoman. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it a 6.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, so you can head over to their website at agelessgeeks.com to check to see if it's on the website. If it's not on there, I would recommend going through their Instagram or their Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.
So we do get the basic style box when it comes to Mezco. So on the Batman, the Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. And then as she is compared to... Let's get moving on with the rest of the review. So we do get a Mezco bag, which we get with all their figures in case you, you would like... <laughs> The hands on the wrist joints and and they another beautiful job on I hate trains. I hate damn trains.